Live at 6. And is dragging us through the mud, dragging our family members, our, our, our hearts through the mud again. Family members in the South Valley are reliving the pain of a double murder nearly 30 years ago. The hitman who killed two innocent teenagers is up for parole tomorrow. Thank you for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 6. I'm Margo Kim. And good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. That case shook the entire community of Lindsay back in the 1990s. Now in a story you'll see only on Action News, reporter Cassandra Gutierrez is here with why the confessed killer could go free and how the victim's loved ones are trying to stop that from happening. Cassandra? Well, the two teenagers were shot to death in a rural area near Kingsburg in 1994. The hitman who killed them was already in prison on different charges when he was sentenced for their murders in 2002. Now he's up for parole for a second time because of legislation that took effect in 2018. But the victim's family members are making a plea to keep him behind bars. We feel cheated. We feel disrespected. We feel stomped on. Richie Hernandez and his family from Lindsay are suffering heartbreak once again, nearly three decades after a devastating loss. In 1994, two cousins and best friends were lured to a Fresno County field and executed. It happened after 19-year-old AJ Hernandez and 18-year-old Danny Hernandez paid a Visalia Tire Shop owner, Jerry Rodriguez, $2,000 for custom rims for this red truck. Investigators discovered Rodriguez kept the money and hired a hitman who shot them to death near Kingsburg. Something that we live with every day, every Christmas, every birthday, every, every Mother's Day, every Father's Day. Um, it's, it just it lives with us every day. Rodriguez is now on death row. The shooter, Stanley Michael Scala, pleaded guilty to multiple charges, including first degree murder. Prosecutors say he was sentenced to two consecutive 25 years to life terms, plus 26 years determinant for the remaining counts. That was in addition to a previous sentence of more than 23 years for a 1995 robbery case in Tulare County. This is a man who deserves to spend every day of his life until he dies in the California Department of Corrections. This was not a drug deal gone bad. These were not people who were involved in criminal activity. These were innocent victims, and he robbed those families. But Scala is up for parole on Wednesday. California's youth offender parole hearings allow a person who was under the age of 26 when they committed the offense to receive a hearing for possible parole. According to CDCR, the legislation behind those hearings is based on scientific evidence that shows parts of the brain don't fully mature until one's mid to late 20s. At the time of the murder, Scala was 24. He had this to say during his sentencing in 2002. I can't change what I did can't do it. It's just not possible. And I can't even begin to imagine the suffering that I caused you. But I, I, I am admitting my guilt. I did do it. And, and I'm sorry. Richie Hernandez says there's no apology or remorse that can put the pieces of his family back together. We don't have freedom. We don't have freedom from the pain um, that we've had for all these years. But he has an opportunity, Scala does, to have an opportunity to go to the parole board and ask for his freedom. AJ's baseball jersey and the red pickup truck that Richie keeps are reminders of who his brother and cousin were, teens with a passion for trucks. Richie says his brother wanted to be a teacher and give back to the community, and he still mourns both lives that were taken too soon. Now, Scala is serving his time at Sentinella State Prison in Imperial County. We reached out to his defense attorney who says they have no comment at this time. If the board recommends parole tomorrow, Governor Newsom will have 30 days to review the decision and could potentially reverse it. In the studio, I'm Cassandra Gutierrez, ABC 30 Action News.